arrive here in Inquanta and you are met with a fast developing district. But behind this success story lies the harrowing truth of young girls being forced into marriage. Located in Inquanta South District in the north of the Volta region, cultures differ as many have come to settle from various places, hence the name Inquanta, meaning junction. Hundreds of girls are enrolled in schools, but many others in towns like Keri, Pawai and Abrewanko are also married off early. <coughs> Naomi is 17. She's been married to 30-year-old Jijonu for five years with two children. She claims she's happily married, but shy to talk about it. In Cynthia's case, she escaped, was recaptured, but escaped again when she was 13. Now 25, she is never to return home because a belief in their custom states that any girl who escapes from marriage will die if she ever steps foot on home soil. 15 million girls marry before the age of 18 years, according to a UNICEF report last year. In the Inquanta South District, girls as little as 7, 11 and 13 are betrothed into marriage. Customarily, men wishing to marry from one family are expected to present another girl from their family for marriage, no matter how young, before being granted permission to marry their desired wife. What is prevailing seriously now among mostly the cucumbers and quite recently the Fulanis in the area is the betrothal and betrothal and then uh, exchange marriage systems. In fact, if your family exchanges a, womb, a, 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 a girl, a very young girl, with another family, and you fail to force your child out of school to go and marry as a replacement, that first family will come back for their, their daughter. At times they do it to strengthen the family bond between the two uh, families. As far as religion goes, the chief imam for Inquanta South District acknowledges he has witnessed over 300 early marriages but explains that this is within the ambits of Islam. Sheikh Alhaji Amara is the chief imam of the Inquanta District. In his position, he officiates almost every marriage ceremony in the Muslim community. Uh, me, 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 wo ho. Yes. Nase o wo ba bi young girl. Yes. Nase me timi wa, me pese me wari na. Me timi a wari na na entesa. Eh, eti entesa. We be timi a wari. Na also, e wo insi seya. We ne o papa na se a wo fo be ye. Na entesa abba muntim. Se entesa abba we ne a wo fo no muntim a. Ola se bi yes kwa we timi a wari no. Se we timi etu ya niti so a de wa pa ya niti so a de a. Emra pa wa da ne we yere no. Entesa ata mo no. Master <laughs> and <laughs> Since I'll be a chief imam. I 
wa ware 7 and 8 eh sa nkoda wo ka omo asen enye mpenifo enye de omo asisu no sa nkoda no omo obe se infia ebinum wo 10 years ebinum wo 11 years ebinum wo 9 years ebinum wo 8 years sena ye esom echre ye prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam echre ne kwan so aha authority ana se mo huja ami be ka chere se me no ye concern ni muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam prophet ya waru oba a ye fo se aisa e de ama onu concern ni muhammad 7 years born 7 years ena ya waru oba no e de ama ye prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam oho papa no nchai na papa akoda na atena sa ama ni prophet astate and I want to know I started air sooner. And as I obano, I did it for you now, but on the way or more penny. So I love me, I know that me, I watch now. Now, Ghana, I'm ready. Me, Kita, no painting moon from Ghana, I'm ready. And I'm become saying, I'm not saying me, Islam, I'm ready. So, me, I'm from so, inshallah, inshallah, man. We've received a lot of education with regards to Islam's stand on the marriage of young ladies. Now, as uh, Chief Imam uh, Al-Haji Almara has explained to us, there is no way that they are going to move away from this practice because it is sanctioned by the um, Prophet Muhammad, may his soul rest in perfect peace. And therefore, this is something that may continue in the Muslim community for time to come. He also claims that these young girls give their consent to these marriages. The Muslim Council for the District says, though they respect the laws of Ghana and human rights, the laws of Islam must also be observed. However, the council is currently insisting that girls be enrolled in schools after marriage. <laughs> So his argument is that yes, he has been contacted by several organizations, including government, um, with regards to this issue. But the argument is the Quran educates Muslims that at the age of seven, a child knows right from wrong. Therefore, if uh, state institutions are arguing that a child needs to be 18, uh, their argument is that well when they get to seven they know what is right from wrong and however the change in this era is that when you marry a young girl you actually ensure that she gets the best of education because as he says that is the best way that she can survive in this world very few cases have so far been prosecuted, but the director of Shraj for the district says their aim is not to prosecute, but rather to use education and advocacy in the hope of achieving change. One thing that we realize is in our attempt to prosecute in these cases, the whole parties went underground. You will not hear it. They will not expose it to you. So we uh, emphasized education a public education and sensitization on the practice and its bad effect on the development of the individual and the community itself but where victims are vandalized i mean they are dehumanized there are situations where the victims who resist there are some because of our public education some of the young girls now resist this kind of marriage but when they are caught, they are beaten and, and at times denuded in public. At times they even force the man to have sex. And then when she becomes pregnant, then she stays in the marriage, which is, which is, which is really barbaric. We, we report them to the police and the police uh, investigate, carry out criminal investigation and then prosecute. I know about two or three which were successfully prosecuted. Institutions such as World Vision are making strides at mitigating the issue of early marriages. Most victims who manage to escape take shelter with the organization. The director of World Vision Ghana argues that advocacy would not solve the problem, but rather a call for community action. 
He explains that institutions must be equipped to enforce the law as required. Death stares these young girls in the face, as early marriages such as this are usually accompanied by health complications. In this district, one out of every six pregnancies would fall with, uh, would be women between the ages of 14 and 19. Even worrying, one out of 30 of those pregnancies will be between the ages of 10 and 14. So, therefore, it is not surprising that we have complications from teenage pregnancies or early marriages. One of the key complications is the yes, maternal mortality. So, the resultant effect is a high neonatal and infant. It may be a while before hope rings its bell. What the ministry has done is to... Uh, there is a, a unit now, and a child marriage unit at the uh, Domestic Violence Secretariat in the ministry. That has a three-year project supported by UNICEF. Especially we are looking at communities where we uh, realize the situation is endemic. So that we talk to them and then engage the community, let children come out to speak like they have done here.